Hello everyone, this is Shannon for Waffle Flower Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a technique using Waffle Flower's new water media mat and acrylic paint. I'm going to use Waffle Flower's Peony Dreams combo set. This gorgeous set has a really pretty moth or butterfly. I'm going to use the matching die for that image to die cut out of craft foam this butterfly shape. I'm going to turn this butterfly into a stamp simply by adding some tape to the back side of it and then mounting it onto acrylic block. With our foam stamp ready to go, we're ready for the acrylic paints. I have a rainbow of acrylic paints here. You can see I have seven colors picked out. I'm going to squeeze a small amount of each color in rainbow order on the upper left side of the mat. I squeezed about a dime size amount of each one of my seven colors, and I was very careful and mindful to make sure that those seven colors, when they're laid out in a row, are not much longer than the width of my brayer. Now I'm going to carefully roll the paint down using my brayer. I am going slow and being careful because I don't want to over mix my paints. I'm trying to go very straight handed with my roll so my colors stay nice and clean as possible. Once I've kind of thinned out this paint and stretched it out a little bit more over the surface of my mat, I go a little bit faster, which does mix the colors just a little bit because I do want to create that gradation. I just don't want to over mix so that it's all kind of starts to get muddy. Now I'm ready to start stamping. I have an A2 panel here of 110 pound white cardstock. I took the foam stamp that we created, pressed it into the acrylic paint, and then stamped it onto the panel. Now I'm just going to clean my stamp real quick with the baby wipe, kind of change the, the angle, ink it up again in the acrylic paint, and then stamp it on my panel again. I love the beautiful different rainbow ombres that we get by stamping this foam stamp in, and it really does transfer that acrylic ink really well, or I should say acrylic paint really well. I'm now just going to continue this process, inking up my stamp in the acrylic paint, stamping it down onto my panel, cleaning it off, inking it up again, just repeating this process till I have the whole panel covered with these ombre butterflies. I am mindful of what colors I'm picking up on my stamp and where I'm placing those colors on my panel. I want to spread around my greens and blues and my cooler, or my, I'm sorry, my warmer colors, my purple, pinks, orange, and yellows, kind of spread those around as well. I want this to be a pretty even panel, nothing, not a whole cluster of blues and greens in one area. So I just made a little mistake here. I got a little bit of paint on a on my panel where I didn't want it. So I was able to pick up most of it with my baby wipe, but now I'm just gonna re-ink my stamp with the similar colors of acrylic paints and then just stamp right over that area where I made a little boo-boo. And now I'm completely done with my panel. I'll hold up to the camera so you can see. I did have another little dab of paint right there in the center and I'll clean that up later. But let's quickly grab our second panel of 110 pound white cardstock and press it into this residual paint that's on our surface. We don't want to wait too long because this acrylic paint does, it is pretty thin and it will dry pretty quick. So I quickly grabbed that second panel and placed it right down onto that paint on the surface of the mat. Now I'm just pressing all over the back side of the panel and then when I pick it up, that paint will transfer to our panel and we have this beautiful ombre with some openings left for the butterflies. And I know it's a little broken and not pristine, but I really like that look. I think it has a really neat organic look to it. Now I'm just going to clean up my mat with the baby wipe. I could allow this acrylic paint to dry and clean it up later, but I like cleaning up when it's wet and it just takes a couple baby wipes in a few seconds. It doesn't take very long to clean up. And as you can see here, it gets completely clean. It's pretty fantastic. So I've allowed our two panels to dry completely. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes. It just depends on how thick your paint is. The stamped one typically dries a lot faster because that stamped ink is a lot, or stamped paint is a lot thinner than the panel that we pressed into the paint. Now I'm gonna to try to clean up that little blob of paint that I got. I used a Tombow sand eraser and was able to kind of sand most of it away. You could also strategically place your sentiment there or an image there if you prefer not to use the eraser. I'm now going to take the matching stamp from the Peony's Dream stamp set, ink it up with VersaFine Onyx Black, and stamp it right over all of those ombre butterflies that we stamped with the, 
the foam stamp. And I'll just repeat this process till the entire panel is stamped with the black outline uh, butterfly. I'll set that aside to dry, but I really think that little black detail over the ombre really is striking and pretty. And it, it's amazing how much it changes the look of the card. So now we're going to do the same thing to this panel, except for this time we're stamping in the negative space of the butterflies and it is a little bit harder or maybe a lot harder to kind of tell where those butterflies were. You can just guess here, just do take take your best guess. Your, the eye will kind of fill in any part that you didn't quite, um, it is not completely wide or you didn't quite get it lined up perfectly. There's no stress here. I think this is definitely a much looser look, but I really like it. I think it has kind of like a distressed look to it, but still very colorful and pretty. And again, just something different and I think a really cool way to kind of stretch your stamps. And I'm sure you may have noticed that I even stamped the butterfly in places where there was no white, just to kind of balance it out a little bit. Take your artistic liberties here and just have fun with it. So that completes the panel. I'm going to set this aside as well to dry. Uh, you definitely want to make sure it's completely dry. It's not stamped on paper per se. We've stamped on top of acrylic paint, so it does take a little bit longer to dry. So definitely be careful. Here I am just testing with my finger, seeing if that... Uh, VersaFine Onyx Black is completely dry and it is so I now can uh, adhere it onto an A2 panel made from 110 pound white cardstock. I'm going to use liquid glue to adhere this on. I'm just going to squeeze it on the back and place it down. Hold it just for a few seconds just to make sure it sets a little bit and it's holding flat. I went ahead and uh, glued the the first panel already down onto its card base and I've also stamped sentiments that are also from the Peony's Dream stamp set, set in VersaFine Onyx Black, die cut them with the matching dies, added foam tape and then just stuck those down onto the panels. Just a clean and simple way to finish these cards. I hope you guys enjoyed today's technique and video. If you want any more information on the products I used, please visit Waffle Flower and you can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.